The okapi is a member of the giraffe family. It is about five feet or one and a half meters high at the shoulders and has a long neck. His front legs look longer than his back legs. The okapi is reddish brown and its legs are marked with creamy white stripes and bands. Its face is creamy white, but its nose and pointed ears are deep brown or black. The male okapi has short horns. The okapi does not like to live around the other animals. It lives in the jungle and is usually found in the part of the jungle where there are few, very few other animals. Okapi reads, O, O, O. O reads, O, O, O. Obi Akapi lived with his family far from the other animals in a remote part of the jungle. Okapis are a lot like giraffes. Okapis are tall and have creamy white stripes on their legs. Although okapis are not exactly unfriendly, they do choose homes away from other animals. One day all the young okapis were frolicking together in a clearing in the jungle. They found a strange home. No creature they had ever known made such a home. There was a brown hut of some kind with lots of shiny tin things hanging about the area. What kind of visitor had come to the jungle? There was not a movement around the strange home they had found. Suddenly through the forest they could hear footsteps. The strange new visitor was coming back to its home. The little animals scattered quickly. In a few moments, you could not see a single furry creature. They had all disappeared, but there were little eyes peering out from behind the bushes, watching to see what the new creature looked like. Obi Okapi was one of the watching animals, and what a surprise, su surprising sight he saw. A creature that walked on two legs came into view, followed by its mate, also walking on its two legs and a little one walking between them. If you had seen them, you would have called them a man, woman and child. But Obi Okapi did not know that was what they were. After all, Obi Okapi had been back in his own corner of the jungle most of his life. Here, son, the man said to the little boy, let's make a telephone. A telephone? Out here? Dad, I didn't know you could make a telephone, said the boy. Oh, I can do a lot of things that might surprise you. Get mother to let you have two empty cans. Here are two I rinsed clean just this morning, the mother said, and they have no sharp, jagged edges. That's exactly what we need. Now, son, watch. I will make a hole right in the center of the bottom of each can. That's how you make a telephone, asked the boy. Just wait, you will see. Now, I will take this string and put it through the hole. He threaded it through the hole in the bottom of the can. He then tied a knot in the end of the string so that it could not slip back through the hole. Now I will put the other end of the string through the hole in the bottom of the other can. Here, let me do it, I can do it, the boy eagerly said, and he could. He threaded the end through the hole tied a knot in the string and pulled it through until it stopped just as his father had done. Now, son, our telephone is ready to be used. That's a telephone? Dad, you're teasing me. No, I'm not. Here, you take this can and run over to the edge of the clearing until the string is stretched tightly. Then put the can to your ear and listen. The boy did as his father said. He put the can to his ear, just as if it were a telephone. Holding the string tight, the father placed the can to his mouth. 
Hello, son. The boy let out a whoop. I can hear you. I can hear you, he yelled. Dad, you did make a telephone. Don't yell, son. Use the telephone. Talk into your can. Now, and I will listen with my can. It worked. He did not have to yell or even talk very loudly. Somehow, the tight string carried the sound of his voice and his father could hear him, even though they were far apart. This is really fun, Dad, he said into the can. It's a neat telephone. I've really got a smart dad. Obi Akapi peeked out from behind a big rubber plant. What fun the two new creatures were having. Obi Okapi decided he wanted to play the same game. Why, only yesterday Obi Okapi had seen some empty cans and a long piece of string, which hunters had left at their campsite when they moved on. Obi Okapi hurried back to the campsite and sure enough, Obi Okapi found just what he needed. The next day, Obi Okapi joined the other young animals at the waterhole. Look what I have, he said. Oh, I've seen tin cans before, yawned the Lion Club. Lots of hunters leave them around their campsites. Sometimes you can get a lick of pretty good food out of them. Have you ever tele-telephoned before? Obi Okapi asked. Telephone? What's that? said the young lion. I don't know. It's some way you play with the cans and string. It looks as if the creatures using it were having a lot of fun. All the animals looked at Obi Okapi. Don't you know what these creatures were? No, said Obi Okapi. We don't have any like that where I live. That was a man, Obi Okapi. You have to be very careful of creatures like that. Well, they looked happy. That's all I can say. Obi Okapi wanted so badly to make friends with the other animals, but he was so shy. Obi Okapi knew if he were to have friends, he was going to have to be friendly. Let's play, Obi Okapi said. Who wants to be my friend and try to talk on the telephone? How scared Obi Okapi was that no one would play with him. He smiled, just a little bit of a smile. Please, he said. I'll play with you, Obi Okapi, said the little tiger. I will too, said the frog and the little monkey. Soon all the animals were playing with Obi Okapi. He had lots of friends because he decided to be friendly. Now I'm not going to tell you that the animals learned to talk on Obi Okapi's telephone because they never really did do that. But what fun they had with the two cans and the string. They threw the cans and got tangled up in the string and had a great time. One thing was true. Obi Akapi always had many friends after that because he tried to be friendly. What animals do Okapis look like? Yes, they look a little bit like giraffes. What new strange creatures did Obi Akapi see? Yes, he saw some people some a man and a woman and a child what did the father and son make yes a telephone how did they make this telephone yes they use string and a pair of cans and they put holes in the cans, didn't they? What did Obi Okapi make? That's right, he made a telephone too. Obi Okapi wasn't selfish. What did he do with the toy even though he was shy? Yes, he shared it with his friends. When Obi Okapi was friendly, what happened? That's right, he made friends. That's the best way to make friends, by being friendly to other people. Listen as I tell you a word. Can you hear the O sound? 
obey. Can you hear the O sound in the word obey? Yes, obey has the O sound. Or, can you hear the O sound in the word or? Yes, or has the O sound. Sin, can you hear the O sound in the word sin? No, sin doesn't have the O sound. Leg, can you hear the O sound in the word leg? Yes, leg has the O sound. Coco, can you hear the O sound in the word coco? Yes, coco has the O sound. Grass, can you hear the O sound in the word grass? No, there's no O sound in the word grass. Show, can you hear the O sound in the word show? Yes, show has an O sound. Cone, can you hear the O sound in the word cone? Yes, o ha cone has the O sound. Cup. Can you hear the O sound in the word cup? No, cup doesn't have the O sound. Goal. Can you hear the O sound in the word goal? Yes, goal has the O sound. Listen as I read a sentence. Can you find the word that has the O sound? Obey God, Father, Mother, and your supervisor. Can you find the word that has the O sound? Obey God, Father, Mother, and your supervisor. That's right. Obey. Show me your picture, please. Can you find the word that has the O sound? Show me your picture, please. That's right. Show has the O sound. Do you like double dip cones? Can you find the word that has the O sound? Do you like double dip cones? That's right, cones has the O sound. What is your goal? Can you find the word that has the O sound? What is your goal? That's right, goal has the O sound. Remember your phone number. Can you find the word that has the O sound? Remember your phone number. That's right, phone has the O sound. Let's blend these sounds. M, O, M, O, Mo. S, O, S, O, So. F, O, F, O, Fo. R, O, R, O, Ro. B, O, B, O bo n o n o no g o g o go j o j o jo t o t o to p o p o po d O d o do h o h o ho o m o m om o s o s o s o f o f o f o r o r or o b o b o b a n a n an o g o g o g o j o j o j o t o t o t o p o p o p a d O d o d o h o h o. Let's blend these sounds into words. S o s o so. 
N O N O No G O G O Go O O Ho T O T O Toe D O D O Do F O F O Fo M O R M O R More More T O R T O R Tor Tor G O R G O R Gore Gore B O R B O R Bore Bore S T O R S T O R Store Store B O R N B O R N Born Born H O R N H O R N Horn Horn T O R N T O R N Torn Torn M O R N M O R N Morn Morn R O P R O P Rope Rope M O P M O P Mope Mope Ho O P Ha O P Hope Hope Ha O M Ha O M Home Home D O M D O M Dome Dome B O N B O N Bone Bone N O S N O S Nose Nose R O S R O S Rose Rose Ha O S Ha O S Hose Hose P O S T P O S T Post Post M O S T M O S T Most Most Ha O S T Ho O S T Host Host T O S T T O S T Toast Toast R O S T R O S T Roast Roast B O T B O T Boat Boat T O T T O T Tote Tote N O T N O T Note Note R O D R O D Road Road M O D M O D Mode Mode R O D R O D Road Road T O D T O D Toad Toad F O R F O R Floor Floor N O R N O R Nor Nor R O R R O R Roar Roar S O R S O R Soar Soar S O P S O P Soap Soap F O M F O M Foam Foam R O M R O M Roam Roam We are going to learn some sight words. Sight words are words that we use a lot when reading and writing. Sometimes these words do not have an image that can go with them. They're just words that you need to understand and memorize when you see them. Let's learn some of these words. There. They brought their cat. There, 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 
there. Them. We will go play with them. 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 Then. We will eat our food and then we will play. Then. 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 Both. I like both apples and oranges. Both. 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 A man that hath friends must show himself friendly. Proverbs 18 verse 24a Do you know how to have a lot of friends? That's right. Be friendly. Everyone needs a friend, but sometimes we feel shy and want to and don't want to try hard to be friendly with other people. The Bible says that if you want friends, you will have to be friendly yourself. How can you show yourself friendly, as the Bible says? Yes, that's right, by saying hello. What is another way? Yes, to smile is to be friendly, isn't it? How about sharing things? Yes, that's a friendly thing to do. If you want friends, remember that you must do something about it. You must show yourself friendly, as the Bible says. Let's learn this first and remember to do it. Let's all say it together again. A man that hath friends must show himself friendly. Proverbs 18 verse 24a one time, Jesus was invited into the house of a Pharisee for a meal. When he arrived, he noticed that all of the people who were invited chose the best seats. In that time, the person who sat nearest the head of the table, nearest to the host, was considered the most important. The host wanted the most important people near him. Jesus noticed that as people arrived, they hurried to be near the head of the table in the most honored places. Jesus decided to tell a story to teach something. When you're invited somewhere, such as to a wedding, Jesus told them, don't hurry and try to sit down in the place of honor next to the host. If you do, you may find that you are not the most important guest. If a more important person comes, the person who invited you may have to say, I'm sorry, but you will move down to the other end of the table. This man is a special guest. It would then be very embarrassing having to move to the lowest place on the end of the table. No, if you're invited, it is wiser to take the lowest place, the one that seems the least important. Then the person who invited you may say, friend, I want you to move up higher. In this way, you will be honored in front of others. The person who makes himself important will be embarrassed and the person who is humble will be made important. Then Jesus turned to the man who had invited him to dinner and said, When you have a dinner or a party, don't invite your friends, your family or your rich neighbours. Those people will only invite you back to their house and then you will be even. But when you have a dinner, call in the people that are poor handicapped, crippled and blind, then you will have a blessing because you will be doing something friendly. You will be helping people who cannot pay you back. Then you will be repaid in heaven by God. In the New Testament, in the book of James, we are also taught to be friendly to the, all people, not just the rich or important people. The Bible teaches that if we have a rich man dressed in gold rings and fine clothing, come into our congregation and also a poor man dressed in shabby clothing that we should not give special attention to the rich man. 
We should not say to the rich man, come in, sit down in our best seat, and then say to the poor man, why don't you sit over in the back corner? The book of James tells us that God has chosen poor people who love him to be rich in faith and to inherit a great reward in heaven. If they are special to God, we should also treat them with special love and honour. Sometimes it is easier for us to try to be friends with those who already have friends. We tend to want to be with the most popular people, those who have beautiful clothes and perhaps more money. The Bible shows we have a duty to be friendly to everyone. After all, the person who is poor, ragged and dirty needs your friendship as much as the happy, well-dressed person. We show the love of God to others when we are kind to them because we love them, not because they are well-dressed or because they are kind to us. Luke chapter 14 and James chapter 2 Character Objective Friendly To learn to make friends We can start a friendship by receiving a person with the attitude of What is God doing in his life? How can I help? If you feel you do not have any friends or that you want more friends, then you especially need to know what the Bible says about making friends. A man that have fr has friends must show himself friendly. Proverbs 18 verse 24a If you want a friend, you must be a friend. Everyone needs a smile and a friendly word. Be a friend to other people, not just to those you admire, but especially to those who need your friendship. Proverbs 18 verse 24a A man that hath friends must show himself friendly. Proverbs 18 verse 24a A man that hath friends must show himself friendly. Proverbs 18 verse 24a A man that hath friends must show himself friendly. Say it with me. Proverbs 18:24a A man that hath friends must show himself friendly. One more time together. Proverbs 18 verse 24a A man that hath friends must show himself friendly. O copy reads, O, O, O. O reads, O, O, O.